Your big breakthrough, of course, was in, 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 in The Social Network with David Fincher. I, yeah. I mean, a notoriously exacting director who will do, you know, 50, 60, 70 takes. Sure. Uh, can you kind of tell me a bit about how working with Guy compared uh, to, to, to working with David? Oh, it, it barely does. It barely does, which is one of my favorite things about this business is every single director you work with will be different than the next. There's no director who directs like anyone else, which, which is amazing because they're all able to hopefully turn out comparably good projects you know so with Fincher it, it was extremely exacting and and you know it was the sets are intentionally not relaxed environments they are a place where you are there to work your phone is not out you are not sitting unless you've been instructed to sit and you're there to do your job over and over and over and over and over again until he's happy whereas you know and and but but the flip side of that is when he's happy, you know it's right. And when he says, okay, moving on, you know there's nothing else that could go better in that scene. Everything that he wanted to be there, he's happy with. So if he wants to move on, I'm happy to move on. Whereas with Guy, it's 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 a much more almost improvisational, free-flowing style where something might happen in a scene that's an accident, but it could be a happy accident if it makes it better. You know, So it, it there's room for more flow, if you will. And and he exists in this place of, of flow where he just allows creativity and allows all of those things to just happen, and they do. It's amazing. 